Hey everyone, this is just another filler video while I'm waiting for parts to come in for my div. I've um, bought this induction hooker from Big W. It cost me 49 bucks. And while I totally didn't need it, pretty well like the press, I'm hoping I can use it to heat up the bearings, and drop them onto the diff so I don't need to press them on so hard. More so, I just wanted to check it out and see if it would work or not. Okay, so here it is, the Big W Contempo Induction Cooker. 49 bucks, it must be pretty scrappy, but let's have a look. Well, book, I need that, receipt, I might keep that. Right, so that's it. I've no idea how it works. I was hoping to get the infrared camera on this and, and test it out, but unfortunately I've got a USB-C port on my phone and it's a micro USB on the camera, so it's not going to happen. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? To read. Okay, so I don't have the thermal camera to test this out, but I do have a Type K thermocouple in the multimeter, which seems to be working okay, and a magnet, um, so I'll just stick that on there like so. Apparently I'll just turn this on and choose power or temperature and go from there. Um, Okay, 1600 watts or 140 degrees. We'll go 120, no, we'll go 100 degrees. And see what happens. It's just beeping at me. Now, maybe this isn't big enough to activate the heating function. I might need a bigger piece of metal. Oh, there we go. We have action. We have heat going into the bearing shell. 32, 34, 39. That's heating up quite rapidly. Wow, that's stinking hot already. Okay, this might be really, really good. I really need the thermal camera to test that, and I'd really like it to work on the smaller piece. But. Maybe if it had the bearing cage around it, it would have been enough to start. Just have to experiment. Now, I'm going to be interested to see if this stops at 100 degrees. That would be excellent if it did. Okay, we'll just hit 100 degrees on the mighty meter and we've overshot 103, 104, 105. The smoke coming off the bearing. We're in the badlands for the bearing. This isn't supposed to be good to them going this hot. Okay, so setting 100 degrees on this definitely doesn't work. I wonder where it's going to stop. 130 degrees, I'm going to stop it there, that's too much. Whoa, we'll go down lower. Still getting too hot, 60. Okay, it must measure the temperature at some point in there. That's not what we want, we want to turn that off. It's actually changed the colour of the bearing a bit. It's not heating up quite so quick when it's down on 800 watts, so... Ooh. Smoke beginning to come off already. Maybe it's better to really put this on the lower setting and watch it with the thermal camera. But I think this can be effective. I think this will work. Which is good. 50 bucks. Who can complain? Okay, so this one's smaller than that. Do that one. Ok, 
Okay, so I can't hang that up directly. What happens if I do that? On. Power. Hey, I can hear it. Okay, so this is not ideal, but... Okay, so that's going to work with the heat's all going to that. It's not what I want. What about aluminium? Okay, so no light from aluminium. Okay, so I solved the problem of having not enough diameter to heat this object, so put that on there like that and it won't go. It'll say no, I'm not going to heat it up and it keeps beeping at me. But I'll put that there, put that in the bottle there. It should. Off we go. There it is, heating them up. It is caning it. Here we go. 53 degrees, we're on full bore, 70 degrees, 80 degrees, stop. We are stinking hot and we're good to go. Excellent. That is what we want to see. Heat it up in just a few seconds. Okay, so this actually works really well. 50 bucks. I'm definitely not complaining. It worked straight away on the larger diameter bearings and on the smaller ones I just had to stick another dummy load on there, spread out, get enough diameter to get it to activate and it it worked just fine and I looked up the price of proper induction bearing heaters on the net and they were they were like over a thousand bucks and this is 50 bucks and it's probably not quite as good but seriously that, that works really well I'm, I'm impressed very handy